What's up guys, it's Just Bolo here. Now, if you're looking for how to recover in the gym where you're having issues, where you don't get the quickest amount of recovery, or you're finding out why am I still feeling the pain from yesterday or from the day before, then this is a video for you. <laughs> In this video, you're gonna learn the best ways to recover after the gym, what to do to make sure that you have enough time to recover as well. You also learn about the benefits of recovery within the gym as well. Let's first talk about the benefits within the gym. The major benefit of obviously recovering in the gym is that you get to go to the next gym session at 100%, you get the best workout in, you get the best muscle growth in, or you, get, you just achieve whatever goal that you need to achieve, whether it's muscle growth, trying to lose weight, trying to gain weight, or trying to do better at football or basketball, or trying to base train for a sport, you will definitely be benefiting in every way from prioritizing, knowing, just knowing how to recover. Now, I'm gonna go straight into the video and tell you more about what stages that I do to recover. And the first one is, is just pre-workout post-workout now pre-workout obviously is just to get the nutrients and just get me to make sure that i'm in the gym and um, i'm not hungry or i'm not dehydrated or i'm not running an empty stomach because if you work out on an empty stomach you're not going to get the best output anyway post-workout obviously i've worked out now i've expended a lot of water a lot of food a lot of calories the goal is for me to retake that calories back for muscle growth and to help rebuild the muscles that i've already damaged the fibers in my body uh, would be damaged after working out so the main goal is to recover that and is to rebuild those muscles so they come back stronger come back healthier and come back even more ready for the next workout The next thing that I would usually do after that is to have a cold shower. Cold showers are very, very good waking up the body and reducing inflation within the muscles as well and to reduce tiredness within the muscle. It forces you to wake up. I usually have cold showers in the morning and after a workout as well. It really is helpful, really does help me out um, to wake me up early in the morning as well, if, especially if I'm feeling tired or drowsy. It forces me to wake up and after a workout when it helps my body to recover much quicker and uh, reduce, inf reduce inflammation within the muscles. The next thing I do is that I make sure I get eight hours sleep, make sure I get enough sleep for my body to rest and for my body to recover. Also for my mind as well. Obviously, I previously mentioned before, you're training your mind and your body while working at the gym. So I believe they both go hand in hand. Not only are you recovering in the gym physically, but also mentally as well, because it is a mental strain. I do know that people don't really see that benefit like that, but me personally, and I'm sure many others like me would also see that. So if you are one of those people, just leave a comment down below, because what a dying breathe. Another way that you can um, recover much quicker is having massages. Now this could be professional massages or it could be a personal one where you have a friend but more time having a professional massage will be the best. With professional massages, this just helps with more recovery much greater. It puts pressure on, on areas that are sore, which helps with recovery, helps with making sure that it helps make sure that oxygen flows through the muscles, helps rebuild that, helps more blood flow, more oxygen through the muscles means more blood flow, means more recovery, which is always gonna be a good thing. It's always gonna be a, a way for you to quickly recover and to get back into the gym and to perform at your highest point in the gym. Another thing that people tend to take and that I also take as well as creatine and protein powders. Creatine really helps with, with, with performance. I believe that you take it over time, it, you will see the gradual impact over time as well. It definitely helps with performance and it also helps with recovery. It helps me personally with recovery. Um, I'll have a link in the bio about the best proteins to take. Shout out to my protein. They really help me out when it comes to creatine, getting my body back into shape and working out 
again still and pro tip hardest as well it also has creatine in it really really helpful now in terms of stuff that you shouldn't do that would impact your recovery is drinking and taking alcohol now this has a direct impact on your recovery especially drinking it's not good for the liver anyway i'm sure you're well aware of the problems with drinking well aware of the problems with smoking smoking ain't good for your lungs bad for breathing especially if you're trying to do cardio smoking does lead to other long-term issues like cancer and stuff like that and so well drinking has its own issues definitely reduce diet in general i'm assuming that people that are working out aren't drinking and aren't smoking at least not that often or at least uh, regulated just don't do it all the time it's not really good for you if you do do it fair enough just regulate it just don't do it too much yeah, if you see that's impacting your workout, then I definitely believe that you should definitely reduce it a lot more. What's more important than pleasure is your health and longevity. There's a lot of pleasures of the world than drinking alcohol and smoking, in my opinion. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are the main ways that help reduce the time taken to recover in the gym. It really does help improve your recovery and make sure that you get the best performance in the gym and also outside of the gym as well. So yeah, the workout doesn't just end in the gym. It's also a lifestyle. See you soon. Stay bolo. Hope you enjoyed the video and yeah.